I would say 1993 is when when things really started to change for me. Um, I graduated college a few years earlier, got a suit and tie job, and just was really, really frustrated. I mean, it, it seemed like the right thing to do at the time, but it just wasn't me. So I did what any other normal kid would do. I packed a bag and moved to South America. <clears throat> that was 1993. And that's when, that's when my life changed. That's when things really turned for me. So there was my mom waving goodbye from the sidewalk as I looked out the bus window and I could see a little tear coming down her eye. And uh, it was a real tough transition. It was tough to leave. But as soon as the trip got underway, uh, my excitement rose. I was always drawn to these uncomfortable places. I mean, it was a long trip. It was it must have been, I don't even remember, 15 hours or something until I finally landed in Santiago, Chile, and um, found, a, found a place to stay first couple of days. And um, the plan was really just to tour around South America until I ran out of money and I had a uh, return ticket already purchased, but uh, in the first few days while I was there, um, I made my way to, uh, to a big mall, and the little bit of Spanish I knew, I decided I was gonna practice it on, on these really good looking girls uh, manning a, a little kiosk, a, a booth in the middle of the mall. And as I started to talk with them, there was this silver haired guy that, that out of the corner of my eye came came over to me and he invited me into his office for a job. He ran, at the time, it was the most successful, uh, well-attended English Institute in Santiago. And um, I ended up spending close to a year in Chile. You know, for those who haven't really traveled much, there tends to be a lot of emphasis on maybe the culture shock. For me, the, the culture shock was really not going to Chile, but it was returning to the U.S. It's just a lot, lot different, the emphasis on, on things, maybe material things. Um, in Chile, I, I was in the upper middle class making $3 an hour, if you can believe that, 1993. I didn't have much of anything, but what I did have was a lot of friends and a lot of great experiences. So that was also a big turning point for me. And in my time there, some of my closest friends, and I still stay in touch with them today thanks to social media, were, were people in the medical field, which is the thing that led me down the path of uh, my future career, my next career my next college degree. It all came from my $3 an hour experience. Yeah. I'm still in wonder about it. 